Hi, I'm John from Wanamaker Hardware. Um, I'm here today to give you a simple overview of fire extinguishers, the difference between fire extinguishers and what they're used for. Uh, basically, fire extinguishers come in different sizes. Uh, fire extinguishers are UL rated by an A, B, or C rating. Um, your A rating on a fire extinguisher extinguisher would be a like combustible material such as wood, paper, uh, plastic, things like that. Uh, a, a B rating would be combustible liquids such as gasoline, kerosene, and liquids of that sort. And the C rating is a rating for electrical fires such as circuit breaker fires, outlets, um, and, and the such. Um, they do come in different sizes as, as we said, um, starting with the smaller ones here. Um, these are, this one here is actually for a kitchen which has a, a fancy cover on it which you mount on the wall and when you're ready you can just pull this off and use it. Um, this one here is, is for a car. Now, these two extinguishers are rated 5BC, which means they're rated for electrical fires and combustible liquids, which you would find in a car or a kitchen. Um, they are rated 5, which means that the equivalent of 5 gallons of extinguisher are in these things. Uh, moving on to this one, this one is a general purpose extinguisher. Uh, this one here is rated 1B, 10BC, which means it's rated for approximately one gallon of liquid to put out a, a paper fire. And 10BC refers to how many square feet of combustible liquids or electrical fire it could put out. So. The BC is rated in square footage, where the, the A is, is rated in a gallon. This one here is basically the same as this, but it's a 2A 10BC, which basically is just a bigger unit. You can put out a bigger fire with it. And then you go up to the larger units. Now, as you'll notice on some of these units, that they do have dials on them. Um, dials and pins and in order to use these things what you do is you obviously pull out the pin squeeze the handle and and point towards the base of the fire um, <clears throat> so these would have a meter on them which you can easily read whether it's charged or discharged or not the smaller types here has a pin on the top which you just basically you push down and if the pin pops up, you know it's still charged. If the pin doesn't come up, you need to replace it. Uh, also, these are the most common types that you would find with fire extinguishers around the home and, and small businesses and things like that. Uh, they also have another rating, which is a a D rating, which is for flammable metals, which you would find in probably the laboratories such as magnesium and things like that. Uh, it's not a common fire extinguisher to find. And then also in the restaurant industry, they have another one that's uh, rated as a K, which is for grease and oil fires. Um, again, you probably wouldn't find those in a you know, a hardware store or uh, such. It's a specialized product. Uh, so basically, that's the difference. The, the chemical involved in these, um, to fight a BC fire, which is, again, the uh, uh, combustible liquids and the electrical fires, they use a sodium or potassium bicarbonate in there. Um, None of these, by the way, usually have water in them because if, obviously, if you 
spray water on a on a grease fire it's just going to spread it all over the place and if you put it spray water on an electrical fire it's going to conduct it which is dangerous so these are chemical types uh, the the ABC which are the, the common ones uh, they use a, a product called a uh, monoamodium phosphate which is a chemical which is is good for all three classes of fire so it's always a good idea to have a fire extinguisher available, ready available in the kitchen or around the house someplace in case something does happen. Uh, obviously the best thing to do when something does happen is to call 911 and let them deal with it. Um, but that basically is, is what you would use the extinguishers for. Uh, also we have a, an escape ladder which you can use to you know on second floors and third floors that basically it's a type of ladder that would hang over the the windowsill and you would throw the ladder out the window it, it's it's a chain ladder obviously so it doesn't catch fire and if you need to escape from a, an area that you have no access from that's a good thing to have around the house so so basically that's the simple explanation of fire extinguishers that we have. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.